Hello, I'm David Wong from Intel's Business Client Platforms Group. In this video, I'll provide an overview of the Intel Endpoint Management Assistant API Sample Scripts, which is a package available to download separate from Intel Emma on intel.com. And you can find it at the URL you see here. It's a small collection of scripts, mostly intended to demonstrate some commonly used administrative tasks that can be executed using Intel Emma's APIs. They have a focus on PowerShell, as well as some more advanced API-driven workflows as many of these scripts are targeted toward IT administrators implementing Intel Emma and perhaps seeking some level of scripting or automation. That's in contrast to the already existing API samples and documentation included as a part of the Intel Emma install package, which are comprehensive, but more focused on partners and integrators trying to tie in their own applications with Intel Emma. But we'll talk about these resources included with Intel Emma because for folks looking for information on Emma's APIs, they can be a great place to start. First, just as a refresher on Intel Emma's APIs, let's start with a quick summary on what's available using the REST APIs versus the JavaScript APIs. The REST APIs offer capabilities like endpoint power actions and gathering endpoint status, booting to uploaded disk images, as well as remote secure erase, remote platform erase, and one-click recovery can be executed where available. Also, various AMT and EMMA administrative actions are all driven through the REST API. Meanwhile, the JavaScript API, which is inherently web-based and requires embedding JavaScript in an application, offers features like in-band remote desktop, and that's in-band via the EMMA agent and not out-of-band remote desktop, which is only available in EMMA's UI. Also, features like the terminal, file management, Windows process management, and WMI queries are available through that JavaScript API. So again, to review the API development resources included with EMMA, there is the Swagger REST API documentation hosted on every EMMA server and viewable when you browse to the Swagger directory, these pages document all the parameters and return values expected from every available REST API call. And then for the JavaScript API, there is paper documentation included in the Emma install package, as you can see here. Also included in the Intel Emma install package is API sample code that can be deployed on any non-production Emma server, as you can see here. For the REST API samples, these samples can be especially useful in conjunction with the browser's developer tools. So if I pull up the developer tools here and interact with the sample, I'm able to observe details such as request headers and response formatting to help work out any issues communicating with and parsing the output of this REST API call. And in the case of the JavaScript API, the samples here demonstrate all that's available through that API. So in this case, I'm looking at the in-band KVM sample, and I'll authenticate and get connected. And with all these buttons, I can see all the actions and settings I can implement in my own application. And in addition, if I look at the code behind this page, there's reusable JavaScript code that can allow anyone to, in this case, integrate in-band KVM to another web application. So that's a quick rundown of the existing API development resources that come with Intel Emma. Now, as I mentioned before, this separate additional package of scripts provides some targeted PowerShell samples. These are more focused on the needs of IT administrators to show them how they can leverage the REST API from PowerShell scripts to be able to perform some common administrative tasks such as powering on or powering off or rebooting endpoints, unprovisioning AMT on an endpoint, retrieving hardware information from AMT on an endpoint, retrieving an MEBX password for an endpoint if it was randomized by Emma, adding a user to an Intel Emma tenant, creating client credentials. These are the authentication credentials that can be used for server-to-server -server integrations, uploading an AMT provisioning certificate, 
or automatically configuring a new EMMA tenant, including pre-configured endpoint groups and AMT profiles for demonstration purposes. And to show you just one example, I'll go ahead and retrieve Intel AMT hardware info for an endpoint. So I'll open up this script where you can see there's a bunch of example code handling things like authentication to Emma, which would be reusable for other custom PowerShell scripts as well. But up in the comments at the top, there's an example command line. I can go ahead and paste that in here, update the parameters and execute that. And it's possible to put all the required parameters in the command line, but if you miss any, you get prompted for them. In this case, I need to add my Intel Emma credentials. And we see that'll go ahead and run. And since I used the verbose flag, you can observe the sequence of API requests that were executed to authenticate and find the target endpoint's endpoint ID and retrieve the hardware information output, which is printed here. So that's an example of one of the PowerShell samples available here in this package. Also included in this bundle of scripts are a couple of additional advanced workflows leveraging both REST and JavaScript APIs. One is a whole sequence that removes and cleans up Emma from an endpoint. It unprovisions AMT, optionally retrieves the MEBX password if Emma randomized it, uninstalls the agent on the endpoint via WMI call, and then removes the endpoint from Emma. The other one shows how to upload and execute a file on an endpoint managed by Emma. So let's have a look at that endpoint removal sample that I've deployed onto my demo non-production Intel Emma server. And I'm gonna use the script to remove this endpoint that we can see has been AMT provisioned and is connected in the Intel Emma interface. I'll go ahead and kick off the process here Again, the JavaScript behind this sample can be viewed and reused by developers. And you can see down here, it's polling the Emma server to ensure the endpoint is unprovisioned before uninstalling the Emma agent on the endpoint because it's the agent itself that's executing that unprovisioning. And now you can see here that it's completed. The agent was uninstalled from the endpoint and the endpoint was removed from Emma. And from the M interface side, you can see this endpoint is no longer available to manage. And so to wrap up, I'll remind you where you can download this package of additional scripts at the URL at the top of your screen here. And with that, thank you for watching.